grace and peace to everybody who is listening. This is a message to some different groups of people. First of all, to Jacob, who represents the 11 tribes of Israel besides Joseph. The day of the Lord is near. Put on sackcloth, repent to the Lord for the sins of our leaders, because your leader Israel has been complicit with the United States of America or Ephraim using sorceries, what God calls the sorceries of Egypt to control humanity and all life forms. Perhaps the Lord will repent of the evil he thought to do to Jacob. Have you been concerned for the affliction of Joseph? No, you have not. Have you hardened your hearts towards our affliction? Because those who represent Joseph's persecution time frame is coming to a close. And the persecution for Jacob is about to begin. This was Joseph's prophecy to Pharaoh in Egypt, which you can see in the book of Genesis. To those who persecute us and those, to those who were hired to do the bidding of these evil leaders, will you sell your very soul for a piece of furniture or for the right to remove the boundary stone and create and exploit the breaches that you have created in the spirits of those whom you persecute. I urge you to think about your own soul's future, its eternal future. To the bride of Christ or Joseph, you will get a double blessing from the Lord because the Lord has recompensed you double the time period for your sins or seven years as opposed to the three and a half years or 42 months which is coming for Jacob and humanity. Repent of all sins that you know of. Try to praise and thank God for what remains yet. Thank God that he found you worthy to be chastened for that means that you are the sons and daughters of God. Once you have sincerely repented of those sins, they are no longer attached to you anymore, or the work of Christ on the cross is in vain. God inhabits the praise of his people, so praise God, praise Jesus Christ, and pray for those who persecute us. That is what Christ instructed us to do. Okay, everybody, that's just a short message today. Go in peace.